Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Been here, coming at you from beautiful Harajel, Lebanon, deep in the mountains, about a one hour drive from Beirut. Look at this place. It is a winter wonderland, and I'm here with my boy Armando. Hey, guys. So, Armando, what are we doing? We're gonna hit up a lot of spots for breakfast, right? Too many spots today. Uh, we're starting off with uh, Lahma Bajim from Afif's Bakery. It's one of the best here. He's popular for that. And we're gonna hit the road uh, to see uh, Fakhra Ruins okay. and the uh, Natural Bridge. And too many, too many food after that. Too many food after yeah, that. So, we're gonna try a lot of things I haven't tried yet. Yes. And these are all like bakeries, small bakeries, and they make bread, but they also have like lamb, yes. they have what, uh, zatar. T too, too much food, you'll see. Too much Just, food. It's a surprise. Okay, let's go. And this is the first spot right here? Yeah. All right, let's go inside. Love how cold it is. <laughs> Love all the snow. Hello, hello. Bonjour. You're too nice. Here we go. So he flattens the dough with this machine, and then he has the cheese. Cheese, huh? Amer cheese, black cheese. Amer cheese. Oh, I love Amer cheese. Nice white cheese. cheese. Kashkaval. 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 So two different cheeses. Yeah. Are the cheese? Nice. Two different cheeses, guys. So Amer cheese and Kashkaval cheese. Okay, okay, okay. Oh yeah, the oven, nice and hot. Yeah. Oh, the fire. Make it nice and hot. How, how long does this one take? Like three minutes, right? Three Fast. Minutes. Three minutes, yeah, three minutes. Until the cheese melts. My friend, yes. <laughs> Super happy. So we're getting two different ones here. We're getting one with cheese, and then we're gonna get one with lamb, right? He's putting it on the other side so that the cheese melts on all the sides of the dough. Okay, za'atar, I love his spice. My favorite spice in Lebanon. Two types of za'atar in this. One uh, from this town, they pick it up from the from the gardens here around, from the fields, and the other type is just from the from the soup. Uh, oh paper. yes! Look at how beautiful uh, that is. The oil, okay, Dwar Shabbos. Okay. Oh, no. Nice. So Zatar, if you guys don't know, that's the local name for thyme. So it's like wild thyme, right? And then they ground it and they also add sunflower oil. Oh wow! So sunflower oil mixed with thyme. Yeah. Zatar, Zatar. So what do you call this one? We, we call it uh, Jibne, Jibne is cheese. Let's cut it, David. Yeah. Yeah. That cheese, that white cheese is yeah, melting. Amazing. And what's this? This is spice. Do we put it on this top? This is the heat that you like. Yeah. Oh, let's do it, let's yeah, do it. We can put... Give me that. Mm -hmm. This is really spicy. Yeah? Yeah. My friends, I am so excited. Look at this incredible cheese bread with some spice. Here, let's try it, man. Yeah, let's try it. Oh, sorry, take a bite. Mm. 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 Nice and spicy, huh? Mm. That's so spicy. I love the cheese, it's very gooey, mm. nice crust, perfectly, like not too crispy, just right. Mm. You want to add some spice? Fill me up. Let me this little one. I mean, we're gonna eat a lot today, but we haven't eaten in like, I don't know, 18 hours, you mean? <laughs> Something like that. We ate like really early yesterday, a four. Cheers, man. Cheers, bro. Oh, this is so good. Wow. Fresh cheese. Mmm, everything's so good. Yeah. Oh, it is spicy now. Mmm. <laughs> huh? A bit of sea zatar. Okay. Sea zatar, huh? Zatar. Nice. Beautiful, look at that. Mm. We're gonna eat this one too, huh? I don't know, maybe we just yeah, eat yeah. so we're gonna eat a uh, lamb one as well. We're gonna eat uh, more lamb. Hey, oh, oh, hello, hello, hello. hello, hello. hello my friend. Amazing, my friend. Yeah, yes, yes. Talk America, America. America, America. America. Here we have the lamb. Oh, this is amazing. So he's a butcher? No, he's the owner. Oh, he's the owner. Yeah. Okay, okay, amazing. So he just brought too much meat. The, <laughs> the rounded lamb right here. Amazing. Oh, oh yeah, we're eating this one. Oh, yeah. oh good, good. Yes, yes, we eat this one too. He's mixing the, the meat with, uh, with all the spices okay. and now he's adding salt. And now he's mixing the meat. Oh, like rounded lamb. Oh, wow. This is for other customers, but it looks so good. I'm about to take a bite out of it. <laughs> it smells amazing. The za'atar with the oil. Oh man, that fragrance, you know? It just hits you perfectly. So he just keeps mixing all the salt. Yeah. And the spices. And the spices with, mm -hmm. the, with the raw meat, yeah. He's gonna cut some onions uh, and uh, chop some tomatoes and add them to it. 
and then mix the whole thing together and then put it on the on the dough and back to the oven. Yeah. Amazing. Basically, it's like a, I'd say a lamb pizza. Yeah. It's like a lamb pizza. Yeah, the pizza. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Pizza libanese. Pizza libanese. Yeah, yeah. But the best, the best. And this is for breakfast. Fold it like that. Oh, look at that. That's how they take it to go, right? Yeah, those are the best. They fold it. Not lamb. Spicy and salt. Beautiful, this is right. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sweet, yes, that the way sweet is. Would you say one, one of these a day keeps the doctor away? One nahbajid a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> <laughs> Not doctor, away. Away, bye bye. Yeah, a day, away, doctor. Arak, arak. 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 Put the lemon on it. Mm -hmm. Make it nice and zest. <laughs> Good, right? Oh, man. Right. You get a bit of spice on it, too? Yeah. Spicy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it looks good, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going yesterday. I had some attic yesterday. Yeah, it was good. It was good stuff. All right, let me get out of here. Let, let me let me do the work. Now I'm cutting the lemon. Some lemon zest over the meat. That's really good, right? Oh my god, look at that. Spicing it up. Wow, to spice it up. This is really good. Look at that crust. Wow, the crust. Look at that crust. I love Lebanon. Look at this. This is gonna be the bomb.com right here. Let's go. Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's yalla yalla. Oh, we're gonna do it. All day. Oh. So good. So good. The lamb, the lemon, yeah. the lemon, that zest. Mmm. Nice and pungent. Mm. Nice and crispy. The dough, perfect. And it's not like too thick. That's what I like about this. These like pizzas yeah. are nice and crispy. Really, really thin and crispy. Ultimate I mean, breakfast. The ultimate breakfast. <laughs> This is our first spot today, but I can eat everything. Yeah, exactly. It's too good. The lamb, so fresh, right? Everything's fresh. Everything from like the garden, yeah. the area. Yeah. I've never had a meat pizza like this in my life. It is absolutely phenomenal. Whoa. And if you want to go crazy, so add some more spice, right? <laughs> That's one more for us. One more on the go. To go. To go. 80 tau for both the chicken, uh, I mean the, the cheese and the meat. Wow. 80 tau. 80,000 right now is like five US dollars. Even yeah. less. Yeah. It's like four bucks. Yeah. Wow. Dude, take another one, bro. <laughs> Merci, merci. The food is amazing. This was one of the best yeah. lamb pizzas of all time. All time. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you, thank you so much. Merci, merci, merci. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. You guys are too kind, too kind. Lebanon is the best. The hospitality here is like none other. I think we need a coffee though. We need to find a coffee. Yalla, boy. Yalla, yalla. Yalla. Yalla, boy. Dude, it's amazing. Amazing spot. I'm blown away by the hospitality here. They are too kind, too humble. Oh, 80, 80, 350 cents for that. So that's it guys, this is the name of the restaurant. It's the Empire of Lahma Bajin. Dude, the amount of snow here is insane. <laughs> Look at this guys. 10 or 15 maximum. So the place we're gonna go to to have the Kawarma is actually closed till noon. So instead of going there, we're gonna go first to Temple Ruins, we're gonna go to Faraya to have something else. Saj. Saj, and then come back to the Kawarma. Yeah. So that's basically the route, right? Yep. Great. I mean, everything's really close. 10, 15 minutes, right? Yep. So up here in the mountains, look at this. Look at the amount of snow on that mountain. This is crazy. I mean, the snow is like at least 10 to 15 feet high above the road. Literally, there's like some points here where you're crossing through and you don't see anything but snow. Right now, we're in uh, Faraya. Faraya is a mountain resort. Find a lot of chalets, a lot of, a lot of guest houses, furnished. They are very beautiful inside out. This is all chalets? Yeah, all those are chalets. 
So here the road has become very icy, so you have to be really careful. And yeah. to get up here, you have to come in a 4x4. Exactly. Of course, if not, well, I mean, dude, we are like completely covered with ice all over us. All over. And most of it's ice, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's frozen ice. stat solid. Yep, yep. Wow, look at that. This is the temple here, Fa'ra Temple. It's all covered in snow. Okay, so some bad news, guys. Too much snow. The entrance basically closed, and the only way in, we would like literally sink in snow, right? Yeah, all the way up here. Oh man. These are the Roman ruins of Fakra. It's a temple slash ruins. It was built in the year 44 AD by Emperor Claudius. So during summer months, what can you do here? You can like go enter the, the, the fields. There are some more ruins. Uh, some of them are uh, below the ground. Some of, some of them are uh, still visible. Uh, part of the temple is still there. Uh, there's a sarcophage. sarcophage. Uh, there are many, uh, there are like uh, big, huge columns. There's too much. And this is part of UNESCO, right? Yeah, this is part of UNESCO. So it's a world, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, right? Okay, so this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's amazing. So don't come here in winter if you really want to explore it. Because <laughs> you're going to end up with a lot of snow and obviously the entrance is completely covered. I mean, if I walk a little bit, watch this. Woo! Woo! All right, let's go, let's go. Let's Hopefully go. the bridge is visible. Yeah. Let's yeah, see, let's, let's see. Let's hope for them. Okay. I don't want to kill myself here. <laughs> oh, I did not bring boots. I brought some Nike sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> They're soaked. They're covered in snow. It's snow, bro. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> this is actually one of the coldest winters they've ever had, right? And the most snow. Most snowy season, yeah. For the Bien Bridge, it's a natural bridge. It looks somehow similar to the, what's it called, Grand Canyon Bridge. Okay. It's close to it. And it goes over what river? It's a river formed because of the uh, melting snow. Okay. Basically, yeah. But where is the bridge? <laughs> it's supposed to be right here. No <laughs> but, way. But two meters of snow. <laughs> so learn my lesson. Don't come here when it's covered in snow because you won't see all the attractions. Obviously, we came here for food and the attractions, but I guess we're just doing all food today. Yeah. So we're gonna go to where now? Saj Mema. And what's that? It's in Far Faraya Square. And this is it, Saj Mema. Yeah. Saj Mema, right? Saj, Saj Mema, yeah. All right, I'm hungry. Let's eat some food. How you doing, my friend? You good? How about you? Very good. Fine. We're ready to eat. Saj Mema. Yes. Oh, nice. Little flat top grill. So this one's different, right? So the way they make it is on this grill. Yeah, it's oh, a different oh. grill. This is the chili paste. Chili paste, yes. And the bread looks a little different. So what yeah. is this wheat bread? Yeah, it is. Those are sesame seeds. Sesame seeds. Nice. Not cheese? Yeah, no, not cheese. Okay, so how she does it, she puts this on a flat top, a super hot little grill, right? A little griddle. Then it's a uh, whole wheat, chili paste. She added sesame seeds and then four different cheeses. Wow, looks so good. I think one's good, right? It's chili, it's cheese? chili cheese, yeah. That's chili it. cheese, yeah. In, La in, in Arabic, we call it uh, Jibna Hara. Jibna Hara? Yeah. So I think the coolest aspect about this dish is the sesame seeds for me, right? It's a little yeah. different because I've had chili cheese before on bread like this. Yeah, this know? is new to you. This That's is new, new to you. This is new. Yeah. And I like it. it's going to be very crispy, still a little doughy, I'm sure. True. But the cheese, man, all the cheese is bubbling now. <laughs> oh, dude, so good, so good. Welcome. Thank you, chokran, chokran. You're welcome. Okay, so she just pulled it off. Now she's airing it out, letting it cool down a little bit. Oh, she's gonna cut it into like little slices, right? Mm -hmm. Voila! Oh, yes, look at that cheese. Perfect. So good. Let's do it. It is, man. It, it, it looks so tasty. It looks too tasty. I'm, I'm almost drooling. <laughs> cheese bread. Here we go. So. You can see, look at that, scorching, hot, like literally melting. It's gooey. It smells awesome. I love this this breakfast. Yeah. You know, it's always this breakfast culture in Lebanon, right? Bread always and cheese. Always. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers man. Mmm. Right. Nice chili paste. Mm -hmm. mm. Not too spicy. Mm. Just right. Mmm. Mm. It's crispy. 
It's not the doughy anymore. No. This is more just blogs. Because it's a, it's a different type of uh, bread. Bread, right? Yeah. Wow. Love the sesame seeds as well. Mm. It's a nice uh, twist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it changes the flavor a little bit, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I think the chili cheese together it reminds me of chili cheese in Bhutan. By the way, Bhutan mm. country. Their main thing is chili and cheese, but actual chili, oh. not chili paste. Mm. Oh, it's getting spicy, it's getting spicy. Yeah. <laughs> With every bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. So simple. Delicious. Mm. This is the perfect thing to have with this weather, right? It's really cool outside. This is hot. Mm. And we're also a coffee here, right? Yeah. Paris coffee? Yeah, yeah. Paris espresso. No, Paris. It's so spicy now, right? <laughs> oh, I love bite. it. Just fold it like that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mmm. The amount of cheese in here is perfect. Yeah. So four different cheeses. Yes. Come here, eat this. Yeah. Oh wow. It's a must. This area makes some of the best pizzas ever. This is the the whole menu. So basically here it is. So it says Lebanese it's pizza, Arabic. pepperoni pizza, sujok, vegetarian ham and pepper. And then they have chili cheese. So there's a lot. Yeah, friend. Doppio espresso, here we go. Great day. And a beautiful day here in Lebanon. Cheers, Cheers guys. Cheers. Oh, nice and hot. Mm, no sugar, no cream. Perfect. That's real coffee. Oh, nice and hot. I need this with this weather, bro. Oh, love this coffee. Nice and bitter. In Lebanese, it was 75,000, which is basically 3.33 dollars. And that's for the two espressos with the uh, cheese. <laughs> what a deal! So we've eaten so far two, what well, three different ones for less than seven dollars. Yes. This is amazing. My friend, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Welcome. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. Yalla yalla. This place is awesome. Oh, I'm slipping here. All right, guys. So we are headed to the highlight of the day. What I think is going to be the highlight of the day. It is the kawarma. So basically, it's bread. Eggs and minced lamb. It's gonna be amazing, and we're gonna try labneh for labneh. the first time. Yeah, for the first time. Yeah. Which is yogurt, Lebanese yogurt, and, and uh, a Lebanese type of uh, cheese, which is called jibne baladiye. Yes. Jibne baladiye. Yeah, jibne baladiye is locally made cheese. You're gonna love it. This is jalset larzel. They have explicit Lebanese breakfast and one of the best is kawarma and eggs which you're gonna love right now <laughs> look at the restaurant it's completely covered in snow the entire terrace is like five feet of snow in height this is nuts it's crazy that's crazy luckily it's melting right hopefully it's not another snowstorm hopefully hi bonjour bonjour how you doing good yeah okay let's go inside let's eat all right guys let's go into the kitchen let's see what they're making Hello, my friends. Hello. Oh, How are you doing? Hello, good, good. Hello, 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 hello. Let's do this. Oh, that's a kawarma. Here we have eggs and minced lamb. Oh, Yummy. Oh, the lamb is bubbling. Look at that. That's the kawarma. It's bubbling. And then they add egg to it. And that's called bayd kawarma. Basically, a, a lamb omelet, but they add it on bread, right? And over here, we have some kebabs. And that's minced lamb, right? So, it's, it's lamb. Oh, so you want to take a photo? Oh, here we go, here we go. Yes, yes, the whole team. Lebanon, Lebanon. Kawarma. 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 Ara. Huh? Ara ma kawarma. Yes. He's like, you have to drink kawarma. I'm oh, sorry, eat kawarma with ara. Yes, yes. Oh, we're eating. Oh, what's over here? Baked potatoes, beautiful. Look at this. Uh, so it's basically like a sikh kebab. In India, Sikh. Sikh kebab? Sikh kebab, India. Ah. Look at this kebab, I cannot wait to try this. This is going to be so good. With labni. This labni arak, kawarma. <laughs> the kawarma, look at that beautiful. So basically, it's scrambled eggs with minced lamb. Kebab, mm, with labni. Tum, tum. Oh, tum. That's chicken, that's chicken kebab. Perfect. Okay, so the food is on the table already. Let's go eat. He's putting the, the ice so that he pours uh, arak for you. Nice and milky. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this is arak. Oh yeah, so it's anise and it's also grape juice, yeah. right? Uh, mm. Oh, this one's good. This one's very nice. Smooth. Nice and light. Yeah, it's very cloudy. That's solid on bread. The, on the oval uh, grill. Okay. Yeah, they do it on the oval, oval uh, grill. 
It's really soft, it's really good. Wow, it's it really looks, thin. It looks it's like a crepe, thin. like a super thin crepe, right? Yeah, it's it's even, even thinner than a crepe. Thinner than a crepe? Yeah. And so what else do we have here? This is uh, kawarma and eggs. This is very tasty, by the way. This is labne, this is Lebanese. Uh, they, it's basically thick yogurt, okay? And this is a homemade cheese. It's called jibne baladi. This is perfect bread. It's still soft, it's still warm, it's amazing. On the labne and take a piece of labne like that. Mm. This is so amazing. Yeah, like that. Take a handful. Mm. Drooling. <laughs> very good, very nice, very nice. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Okay, we're choosing. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> this is the smoothest arak we've had. Everyday arak and this is the smoothest one. A piece of the bread going here. Oh wow, look at this. So like thick yogurt, labne. Yeah. And cucumber and tomato on the side? Yeah. It goes well with the, with the labne. Mmm. Mm. Mm. It's thick, creamy. Wow. Almost like whipping cream. Almost. Almost. This is my favorite yogurt of all time, this one. Oh my gosh. I'm not a huge yogurt guy, but... <laughs> this is really good. This is so good. You can tell everything is so fresh. Everything's it from is. the neighborhood, basically, right? Yeah. Once you're in the village, everything is local. Mm. I'm in love with this place. Scrambled eggs with lamb. Mm. Oh. Aim for this for three days. <laughs> oh. Mm. Nice and fatty. Yeah. Mm. Nice fluffy eggs. Oh, with the bread. And the bread is so thin. It reminds me of the Armenian lavash. Very similar, not the same though. Mm. These eggs are phenomenal. You know, I've almost never eaten uh, eggs with meat before. It's not a very common thing in America, especially, you know? Mm. But this is out of control. And if you want, I'm sure you can add some spice. Maybe add some pepper, right? Just a little bit of pepper. Yeah, okay. Mm hmm Just like that. Oh, yes. This is heaven. Mm, if you're a lamb lover, you will die for this dish. Probably one of my favorite breakfast, lamb breakfasts ever, this one. Well, today we had multiple because yeah. we had lamb over there at the other place. And each one was different. And can I mix this with this? Is that possible or not? not? The kawarma, the labne, and the bread with that. I love how dense it is and how creamy it is with this one. It's good, right? Mm. Nice mix. Mm. <laughs> it's cold, it's hot, it's oily. Mm. So I'm gonna <laughs> make this alone. It's like these eggs, man. And the best part about these eggs, they're literally from the village. Yeah. Right. This is the kebab. This is the lamb kebab. Yeah, it lamb kebab. Reminds me of a Sikh kebab from India. We're chopping some tomatoes to eat with the cheese and the labne. It goes really good. It's a nice twist. Take some bread, cheese here. Wow, looks like mozzarella. Yeah, put on a tomato. That's on uh, mint, I mean. Yeah, so it's gonna be a very minty, nice burst of tomato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little sour. There you go. Mmm. The taste, man. Get the bread, get a piece of tomato. It's a huge piece of tomato, though. <laughs> and then come over here, cut this, right, the cheese. Right there, out of here. And then get a little bit of mint. I'd actually get like three or four pieces, right? So give that a nice burst. Get the cheese, tomato. So it's basically like a little wrap, right? So it's like a Lebanese sandwich, right? Everything's so fresh. Mm. I love the cheese. Nice soft white cheese. Wow, as soon as I bit in there, the tomato just exploded. I love the mintiness to it. Mm. Mm. So I'm gonna get into this kebab. Grab a piece of bread, right? And just break off a piece. Just like that. Ooh, it's so super hot. See, it's like still steaming. Lamb kebab. Oh my god, so earthy, nice and dense, charred on the outside, mmm, it's still very hot. I think this with like labneh would be good. Mm. 
Mmm, wow, man, this is so good. Oh my god. You know, the biggest difference for me between um, this kebab and like stuff you have in India, this one has basically just some salt, right? That's it. It's not like anything crazy, not too many spices. No, no, no. no. It's too basic. Mm hmm. Oh, we're so pressed. Nice and charred. Charred. Nice crispiness on the outside because obviously it's a little burnt. Mmm. Mm. And over here, have some of these. Wow. The olives are also from Lebanon. We have a big olive plantation in Lebanon. So this is Lebanese also. Big potato. You just put it like this. You cut it. In the middle. Ooh, nice and hot. That's gonna burn my tongue. This is the pepper. pepper. Mm -hmm. And then olive oil on it. Oh yeah. And now Oh, this tastes really good. The best one. Yeah? <laughs> no, I'll try it. I'll try it. I'll try it. Right there. Oh my god, it's so hot though, right? This is so good. Yeah, it's hot, but it's really, it's really good. Mmm. Right? That olive oil. Yeah. So fresh. Oh, the potatoes nice and soft. Nice. So soft. That's amazing. Get the baked potato. Maybe one more bite. Oh. Uh. Right, so you got a piece of the bread. <laughs> And you go in here, kawarma. Just go in there, just pick up as much as you can. <laughs> nice, look at that. So beautiful. It's halawa. Halawa is uh, sliver, it's uh, sesame. sesame. It's made of sesame and yeah. tahini. Yes. And it's make special for us, it's a small size. Right, it's fresh. Make it daily. Right. Now we will try it with uh, butter and sugar. Oh, so what is that? This is bread, uh, sage bread with butter and sugar. Butter and, and sugar. It on the old way. Extremely old. good with halawa. Ooh, so it's bread and then halawa. Yeah, right? this is bread with sugar and uh, butter. Okay. And it goes really good with Ooh. halawa. So it's hot. It feels like syrup. Yeah. Like this, yeah. right? Let's get a bit. Look at that really hot. Ooh, the inside's gonna be crumbly, right? Yeah, yeah. Halawa is halva. Halva, exactly. Same thing. Yeah. Mmm. How is it? Mmm. <laughs> so good, right? It's amazing. <laughs> wow. What a combination. Yeah. The textures, right? This one, a little crispy on the outside. Hot. Lots and lots of sugar. Syrup as well. Yeah. And then over here you have the crumbly hava. Yes. Mm. I eat this alone. <laughs> I love this. Mm -hmm. India, Pakistan, all over the Middle East, this is the best. Yeah. Mm. This is my favorite, actually. My favorite too now. And it's even. Mm -hmm. This you should you should try it sometime. It's so good with Nutella. With Nutella? Yeah. No way. It goes so well. Oh my Nutella. gosh. Nutella fans, try halva with Nutella. It's amazing. So we went to three different places, plus we did the temple. I mean, every single thing was amazing from the first place. We had the cheese bread, we had the lamb bread. Yep. Then we went, we saw the temple obviously covered in snow, so definitely come sure. here in the summer months or April, right? Spring, yeah, right? Yeah, you get to see it without the snow. We had a chili, we went to a Saj, Chili cheese. A, a, where is it? Saj, Saj Mema. Saj Mema, that was amazing. Put some coffee and everybody in this area is super friendly. Yeah. We came here and we had the kebab. We have kawarma. We had... Uh, Labne. Labne. Jibne Baladi. Oh my God, there's so many names. <laughs> so many, I'm gonna learn all the names by the end. And the owner is super nice. They yeah. only charge for what we ordered. They brought out the extra True. stuff. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up. Let me comment below. Subscribe so for more awesome travel content. Oh, I still have some left. Yeah. Cheers. Some more Arab. <laughs>